Hey, happy Friday to you. Welcome back to the Friday Funnies. You know, a, a regular feature of the Friday Funnies is the Dumbass of the Week segment. And normally one dumbass is called out per week. Occasionally we might have had two in one week. This week we had three. A debatable point is who had a worse week, R. Kelly, Jussie Smollett, or Robert Kraft, huh? All three of these dumbasses dominated the headlines and pushed Donald Trump into the inside pages, so at least we got that. I prefer to look at the positive sides of life. For instance, today is the first day of March. That means spring is allegedly only three weeks away. And before spring gets here, we have two other spirit boosters to look forward to. St. Patrick's Day is only 16 days away and one week from Sunday, one week from Sunday, daylight savings time returns and we can all lose an hour of sleep. All these signs point to an eventual escape from the polar vortex and I am more than ready. But until all of that happens, please enjoy this week's Friday Funnies. You know, much of a business's success depends upon its name. You know, if the name is unique and memorable, it's easier for the establishment to prosper. Such is the case of a small nail salon in Ohio. Unfortunately, some people in Perkins Township, Ohio, are offended by the sign above the store reading, Hand Jobs, Nails, and Spa. Huh? Now this may sound like a place Robert Kraft has on his bucket list, but it's really just a, a manicure place. See, the owner, Don Moon, stated that if you get your nose done, it's called a nose job. Well, here you get your hands done. And she vows that she will fight any attempt to get her to change the sign and said she even plans on opening up two other businesses in the area. One is a, is a pet salon called Doggy Style and the other is a barbecue place called Get Your Butt Rubbed Here. Paul Kossman is a 53-year-old man from Maui, Hawaii who must be thinking today <laughs> what the heck was I thinking? Uh, he, he was arrested last month for breaking and entering. What he did was he broke a window and then entered into the bathroom of the Hana Police Department. <laughs> Once he was inside, he pulled an alarm, was obviously quickly discovered, and the police escorted him down the hall to a nearby cell. And they said oh, they wished all of their criminals were that easy to catch. Anyhow, Klossman was sentenced this week to 200 hours of community service, and he has to write a letter of apology to the Hanna Police Department. This letter will no doubt be framed and hung in the bathroom. You may have read the story about the Girl Scouts who were selling cookies outside of a supermarket in South Carolina, and it happened to be a very, very cold day. Well, they're out there selling cookies, and a good Samaritan named Dietrich McGowan came up and bought their entire supply, 120 boxes of cookies he bought so the girls wouldn't have to stand out in the cold. And one of the mothers who was there was so touched by this, she took a picture and posted it, you know, up on social media, which is where the police saw it. Apparently, Mr. McGowan has an arrest warrant out for him. He's wanted for his participation in a, uh, in a drug ring distrib distributing cocaine, heroin, and fentanyl. He is now in custody. And the arresting officers are enjoying 120 boxes of Girl Scout cookies. Hey, that's it for another week, my friends. Please pass these along, and please, if you haven't done so yet, check out my new podcast, Another Day Above Ground. It's available on iTunes, or you can go to my website, or the website, anotherdayaboveground.com, and listen to it there. Either way, give us a listen, leave us a remark. I'll see you back here next Friday.